All right, I figure I'll show you guys how the automatic overclocking works. I used it yesterday for the first time. And, um, what do you call it? Um, and it did it for, I set it in the max temperature for 75 Celsius, which I don't want the, the fan I mean the CPU to use uh, to get too hot and it came out to be uh, 4.2 gigahertz so I'm gonna show you guys again I'm gonna start off the AI suite go to the TPU and as you can see it's 4.2 gigahertz but I'm gonna start it again All cores right here. Um, let me see. Now this is not where I did it. Hold on a second. I think I did it and digi power let's see if that's the one no that's not it either hold on a second uh what the hell do i do here Maybe it was TPU. Did I just do that before? Yeah, this is the one. Let's see, CPU strap. Graphics cards. I don't remember seeing this. I know I did it yesterday. Hold on a second. System information motherboard connect. Is that it? All this crap gets confusing over here. No, that's not it either. Um, I feel like an idiot now. It's not fan expert because I used that before. Hmm. Maybe it was EPU. Four point two gigahertz. Let's see what the EPU is. Performance No, that's not it either. I really feel like an idiot here. One point two gigahertz. I think it's here. I 
I have no idea. What the hell is this? Oh, wait, is it here? Oh, this is where it was. It's the... Where is it? Let me see. The dual intelligent, intelligent 5... Processor 5. Hold on. Um, yeah, I remember I did this here. All cores. I started from the op op optimal ratio, which... It, just by selecting performance in the mother in the motherboard bios uh it gives you 3.9 gigahertz on this cpu which is 5820k which is uh the standard uh frequency of 3.6 gigahertz max on a turbo but now when i told it i want to reach no more than 75 degrees I did it like this it found a sweet spot I did that too uh, I don't know what this means but I did that too and I tested for 15 seconds um, I did that let me see. I don't think I did the graphics fan. I did all this crap though. Uh, this is what I did. So, uh, let me click start and I'll show you guys. This is what happens. First it's gonna restart. I got Win Windows 10 Professional on there. This video is already seven, eight minutes long. It does it all in uh, in Windows. Uh, it's 3.3 .3 gigahertz so far. My RAM is a little bit faster than stock. I got two monitors, a cheap one here, and I got my good one as the main one. Which this video card does. Uh, Asus GTX 750Ti it starts off on my VGA input so it's gonna do its thing now I'm not gonna touch it it's gonna keep raising the CPU a little bit higher and higher and then it's gonna stay at the one that matches 75 uh, Celsius Right now it's showing 3.9 gigahertz. That's that's what you get from Asus stock performance boost. Alright, here we go. So it's trying 4 gigahertz now. And I'm gonna pause it because it's gonna count down to zero. Alright. So now it's going uh, 4.1 gigahertz. It's doing a 15 second stress test. Doing 4.2 gigahertz. I think my PC reset 
at 4.3 or something like that. I think it crashed at 4.3. So when it detects a crash, it um, it takes it back to the previous uh, past one. Let's see. So it went up to 4.3. Maybe it didn't crash. I don't remember what happened. Yeah, my core temp is showing 4.4. It's already reaching almost. Yeah, see, now it's gonna. It crashed, so 4.4 it crashed this time. So I reboot it, let's see. By the way, these backgrounds I'm getting from, uh, I think Flickr, there's an app called, uh, as soon as it pops up over here, I'll show you, yeah, it's called John's Background Switcher. It's a great app, it keeps... You could set every so often to change your background to popular pictures or whatever type of pictures you want. I just chose popular. I was doing the fans now. So I did the, the CPU. I think it kept it at 4.2 gigahertz again. Because that's the max I'm seeing here. It's checking the fans now. It's hard to see, but my background fan, I mean, uh, back of the case fan, it stopped. It's, t it's testing them at what point they stop and noise and stuff like that. Yeah, see, it's trying to make that one start now. Adding a little and a uh, little more, a little more voltage. I like the utility. It's it's great because you could cust customize your your system for a quiet running. Basically, it tests um, how quiet your fans run. Was it lower speed they will run at? I'm gonna do this again once I get a PWM splitter for my top fans in here because these um, these are PWMs um, Noctua, Noctua Industrial 2000 RPM fans and uh, they're running in DC mode now because I don't have a PWM splitter so um, they're not working as well as they should as, as they could be. So let me see, what's it doing now? Uh, checking energy consumption. Still holding at four point two gigahertz. This takes a little while 
to do. But you know what? I'm a total amateur when it comes to overclocking a motherboard like this. Um, my last system I built was in 2008. 775 socket for myself. I built, I built some other ones for friends and and other people that paid me to, to build their computer but I never overclocked their computers because you know what they're not buying they're not paying me to to get uh, their system overclocked they just want a reliable computer this right here I could do myself I could run it higher than normal uh, for me and if something goes wrong, I'll fix it myself. I don't need to be going back to their house and undoing the overclocks because something didn't come out right. So, um, so anyway. see what's going to happen is it doing I think it might be doing the video card now yeah because uh, I have a I don't know if this works with any video card or Asus video card but but my video card is made by Asus so maybe it's doing that because it's it is Asus video card I don't know I'm not sure all right so the same overclock uh, happened this time like yesterday so So 4.2 gigahertz, that's okay. I'm very happy with it. So let's see, it found. Yeah, everything's at 4.2. Here's the fan, CPU fan benchmark. And there's other fans in here. This stupid window should be able to stretch more, but. That's how they designed it, so forget it. Got nothing plugged in there. Um, high output pan, that's what that is. Um, high amperage fan. And the last three are for the little fan extension board that comes with this motherboard. This motherboard is. is one of the most expensive ones but it does have a ton of features in it I'm not gonna be using the fan extension board at this time um, so uh, see here's what it did for the video card uh, that's just a fan test I don't think it overclocked the video card Anyway, so that's what the automatic overclocking on the Asus X99 Deluxe 2 is. Your results will be different. So, anyway, talk to you guys later.